This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 51, verse 14. The captive exile hasteneth that he may be loosed, and that he should not die in the pit, nor that his bread should fail. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 63, verse 9. In all their affliction, he was afflicted, and the angel of his presence saved them. In his love and in his pity, he redeemed them, and he bare them and carried them all the days of old. So with that, giving all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, in whom the world is ignorantly called Jehovah or Yahweh, and Yahweh Shai is the name of his only begotten Son, in whom the world has ignorantly called Jesus Christ, in whom we do worship. We are the Hebrew Israelites, which consist of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American, and Seminole Indians, to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad. Greetings, giving double honors unto my apostles, my elders and my teachers at Great Millstone that are ruling well and continue to do so. That taught me and brothers like me this truth, this beautiful truth, beginning with the names of our power and of his anointed. Now these are the two most important things you will ever know. The name of the Heavenly Father and the name of his only begotten Son. To call upon in these last and troubling days and be saved as it is written for the elect shall praise his holy name and whomsoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved so the name of the Heavenly Father the true and proper name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh Yah meaning he Hawa meaning exists or is or is to be he is he exists he the existing one, and in the name of his only begotten son, a name above every name given amongst men here on earth to the Israelite man first, and also to the believers to call upon and be saved in these last and troubling days. All right. And the name of the only begotten son, the true and proper name of the only begotten is Yahawashai, Yah meaning he, Haushai, meaning deliverer and savior. Okay? He delivers. He, savior. Yah meaning he, Haushai meaning deliverer and savior. And that is exactly what he will come and do in physical form for the second time as an angelic force with the armies of heaven. And we shall be changed. We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. For he is the resurrection. And we shall have a, a body fashioned like unto his glorious body. We just need to wait. We are the captive that has been exiled to the far reaches of the earth. Because of our sins against our power. And because of his faithfulness, he will retrieve us and recover us from the four winds. Beginning with that hopeful elect, predestined before the world began. We're hastening the day of the Lord. We're hastening his coming. We're hastening to be loosed, not only from this prison, which is our bodies, but from this age, from this time, from this man and from the wicked. That we should not die in the pit, his system that he's bringing forth, that he wants to cast all into, whether you be bond or free, okay? Nor that our bread should fail, because this man wants to uh, play the role of Joseph in ancient Egypt, when all the people had to go to Joseph for grain. All right? But the Lord will not allow us to, to, to beg and grovel at this man's feet. We look to him. We will no longer stay upon him that smote us, but lean on the Lord our power in truth. Stay upon the Lord our power in truth. Okay? So without further ado, Lord's willing, this is an edifying lesson. And Lord's willing, I call this lesson. <laughs> we shall not die in the pit. And if I don't call it that, I'll call it the day of release. The day of release. Okay? Either or. So Lord's willing, this is edifying. Let's get right into it. I'm going to play this clip. Lord's willing, YT does not get on my case. All right, so uh, 
I'm going to play this clip, but let me go to the points here. Bear with me, brothers. Going into the word. Into the word pit. Okay. We'll start right here. Job 33 and 24. Then he is gracious unto him, and saith, Deliver him from going down to the pit. I have found a ransom. So the Lord was a ransom for us. All right. He paid the ultimate price for us to be free from sin and from death. And we have been bought with a price, the blood of Mashiach. But you see what the Lord is going to say while we're yet in this prison, while we're yet in this time, while the snare is being placed upon the earth and its inhabitants, the Lord will say, free them. The elect. Job 33 and 24, then he is gracious unto him and saith, deliver him from going down to the pit. I have found a ransom. That is Job 33 and 28. He will deliver his soul from going into the pit and his life shall see the light. Just as Micah said, I will bear the indignation of the Lord because I have sinned against him until he brings me forth to the light, the truth. All right. And the Lord is going to give us justice. This is the book of Job 33 and 30 to bring back his soul from the pit, the elect to be enlightened with the light of the living. <whistles> See that we're being enlightened with the light of the living. OK. You would think there is no hope, but there is hope. Psalm 7 and 15 this is going to the Esau Edom. And these other nations that are in cahoots with him, their end shall be as uh, Zeba and Zalmuna. All right. He made a pit and digged it. These these high banking elites and these world powers and is fallen into the ditch, which he made. That's right. They're going to fall into their own system and be destroyed because once you're in the system, your end is fire brimstone. OK, Psalm 9 and 15. The heathen are sunken down into the pit that they made in the net, which they hid is their own foot taken. The Internet of bodies, the Internet of things, the interconnection, one world uh, 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 order, NWO, digital system is all interconnected, so to speak. Their own foot is taken, just as Esau's uh, foot was taken by Jacob. Jacob grabbed him by the heel. Representing us pulling Esau down in this time. Where ultimately the truth is pulling him down and revealing him. This Psalm, or the book of Psalms 10 and 14. Thou hast seen it, but thou beholdest mischief and spite to, to requite it with thy hand. The poor committeth himself unto thee that art the helper of the fatherless. So the Lord is going to be the helper of the fatherless. Israel, Yahshua Allah. Book of Psalms 28 and 1, a psalm of David. Unto thee will I cry, O Lord, Yahabashimal Shai, my rock, be not silent to me, lest if thou be silent to me, I become like them that go down into the pit. The Lord will be not silent to us. For the poor man, his prayer pierces the clouds, and he will not uh, 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 cease. Until the Lord will do righteousness. Let me, let me get that. Uh, just get it real quick. Pierce it. The Lord is willing. This is edifying thus. Thus far we're going to go back to. Pit. Pierce it. The clouds in. Okay. Mm, Ecclesiasticus 35 and 20. Mercy is seasonable in the time of affliction as clouds of rain in the time of drought. The Lord is going to come through as he has always done. All right. Let's see here. Bear with me, brothers. There we go. Ecclesiasticus 35 and 16. He that serveth the Lord, Yahweh, by Shemel Shai, shall be accepted with favor, and his prayer shall reach unto the clouds. Ecclesiasticus 35 and 17, the prayer of the humble pierceth the clouds until it come nigh, he will not be comforted. 
and will not depart till the most high shall behold to judge righteously and execute judgment. All right. That's what I want to get. That was it. Verse 18. For the Lord, Yahweh will not be slack. Neither will the mighty be patient toward them. These world powers, these, these, these evil men, ungodly men, wicked men, heathen. Till he have smitten and sundered the loins of the unmerciful, Esau, Edom, and repaid vengeance to the heathen. Till he have taken away the multitude of the proud, whether it be Esau, Edom, the heathen, and two thirds, because they are all proud. And the Lord hates pride. And broken the scepter, the, and broken the scepter, the rulership of the unrighteous. Verse 19, till he have rendered to every man according to his deeds and to the works of men according to their devices, that ultimate device being the RFID, till he have judged the cause of his people, beginning with the elect, and made them to rejoice in his mercy. There it is. We already read this scripture. Mercy is seasonable in the time of affliction as clouds of rain in the time of drought. That's it. Man. Let's read uh, 13, 14, and 15. He will not accept any person against a poor man, but will hear the prayer of the oppressed. Because we're in a prison right now. We're in the pit. And this man, Esau Edom, is trying to put us further into the pit, further into captivity. All right? It says he will not, uh, he will not despise the supplication of the fatherless. Nor the widow, when she poureth out her complaint, that widow being uh, Israel, all right, we're mourning, crying. We're as a widow, but we're married unto the Lord. We have been uh, 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 espoused to one husband. Okay? So do not the tears run down the widow's cheeks? And is not her cry against him that causeth in the fall? Esau, Edom, and these heathens. We're crying out against them to our Lord, and he will come. And save us. Okay. Let's see you here. Bear with me, brothers. Oh, yep. These two uh, nations. This is what Esau Edom thinks he's going to do. These two. He wants ultimately uh, uh, the nation of Israel. He wants other nations too. But the main ones he's going for is the nation of Israel. This is Ezekiel 35 and 10. Because thou hast said, going into Esau, Edom, these two nations and these two countries shall be mine, and we will possess it. Whereas the Lord was there. The Lord heard you, what you were saying, you damn devil. But we're not yours to have. We don't belong to you. We belong to Yahweh Bashim al Shai. All right. Let's go back to the point I was at, and we're going to play this clip okay bear with me brothers let's get back to the point okay i was in psalms yep just gonna keep on going all right now this is uh psalm 30 and 3 oh lord yahweh bashim al shai thou has brought up my soul from the grave thou hast kept me alive that I should not go down to the pit, that system that this man is digging and preparing for the populace of the world to throw them into it. Ultimately, uh, Israel, he wants to throw us into a pit. All right? Because he has that same old spirit as Cain. Hey, wh where's your brother Abel? Says, I don't know where he is. Am I my brother's keeper? Knowing damn well he was the one that murdered him. See, that's what this devil wants to do. You see? They never wanted wanted to put us into graves. I mean, they never wanted uh, to bury us. All right? Because when, uh, when you bury somebody, you put them at rest. This devil would never uh, want us to be at rest. All right? He just wants to leave us in an open pit as a, as a, as a spectacle, as a shame. All right? But we are dead. The elect are dead with Mashiach. We've been buried with him. So that we may also reign with him. See, that's what he's mad at. He's mad at the elect that's dead. The hopeful elect. He's like, damn, they're dead. They're at rest. They know who they are. You know? What, what more can I do? How can 
how am I going to threaten them when they're already dead? See, two thirds of our people don't want to die. They want to save their lives, but they're going to lose it. We have already lost our lives so that we may save it through Mashiach. This is Psalm 30 and 9. What profit is there in my blood when I go down to the pit? Shall the dust praise thee? Now, this is spiritual because it's like, okay, if I'm dead, how am I supposed to praise Yahweh Bashim Hashai? The Lord is keeping us alive in the spirit. The life that we now live is through the son of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai Mashiach. But how can we praise the Lord in the dust, in the grave, the actual grave, being dead? We're not doing any good there. We're doing all the good that we can do is by living for Yahweh Bashim Hashai. So that we may not die in the pit. So that we that we may be loosed. Alright. So shall the dust praise thee. Shall I declare thy truth. Alright. Now bear with me Akim. Alright I'm back Akim. I'm going to read these two scriptures. And then I'm going to play this clip. And those when you brothers enjoy the clip. <laughs> My man Andor. Alright he's northern kingdom. Jake always has that spirit to be free. You know. Not to just die in a damn pit prison somewhere, man. You know, everybody else would just accept it, but not Israel, not Jake. Okay. Psalm 35 and 7. For without cause have they hid for me their net in a pit, Esau, Edom, which without cause they have digged for my soul. Psalm 40 and, and 2. He brought me up also, this is Yahweh Shemashach, out of an horrible pit, out of the miry clay, which is the debt, because this system is leading to a digital system, which is going to have everybody in debt and everybody enslaved. The internet of bodies, the internet of things, okay? You're going to be locked into the system, all right? And set my feet upon a rock, that rock, that foundation, being Yahweh Shemashach for us. And established my goings. So I'm going to play this clip. Shall we? What's going on? The doctor told us what happened down on two. It's true, isn't it? They fried the whole bridge. It's worse than that. It's why. No, no. He said they'd made a mistake and sent back a man who'd just been released. They fried two ships to keep it quiet. You heard him say this. How is he going to I can't believe it. He's only a doctor. They would never tell him. No one is getting. Ouch! It's true. The rumors are true. They're not letting us go. So let's get our heads back in our cells and start figuring this out. As long as when you uh, enjoyed that, that clip, man, he said, no one is getting out. You know? Let's see, let me play it back to this. So I can get to the point. Right, right there, yeah. Right there. So what was when you enjoyed that clip? He said, no one is getting out. He said that they were not leaving. Ever. And once a lot of people come to that conclusion, it's going to be far too late. A lot of people are going to die. That's what they want. That's a part of their agenda. A lot of people are going to be enslaved. That's a part of their agenda, too, to take you to these concentration camps. They kill you in there, torture you. If they do chip you, then they, it is what it is. If they take your children, it's to re-educate them. Okay? Putting them into a pit, miry clay. All right? You're going to be in debt. You're like, well, hold on, no, no. My body, my choice. I have a, I have a right. And they're going to look at you like you have no rights. The hell are you talking about? You're in debt. You know? No one's getting out. The only way you can get out is through Yahweh Bashim Shai. With all, I escape. Let me get there.
It's the only way. Uh, and then I want to get uh, this bird out of a snare. Yeah. Yep, Psalm 141 and 10. Let the wicked fall into their own nets, whilst that I, with all, escape. Man. It's a bird out of a snare. Let me get that. Our soul has escaped. Proverbs 14 to 27, the fear of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim al Shai, is a fountain of life to depart from the snares of death. That's how important the Lord and his fear is. All right. Mm. Hmm. Proverbs 13, 14, the law of the wise is a fountain of life. To depart from the snares of death. The law of the wise is a fountain of life. To depart from the snares of death. See that? Man. Go to Psalms. Mm, Psalm 141 and 9. Keep me from the snares which they have laid for me. And the gins of the workers of iniquity. Psalm 142 and 3, when my spirit was overwhelmed within me, then thou knewest my path in the way wherein I, wherein I walked, have they privily laid a snare for me. So we're walking the way of Yahweh Shai, but Esau, Edom, these devils, mainly them, and these heathens, have laid a snare privily, but the Lord is going to allow us to escape. Huh. That's it. Here we go. Here, here it is. Psalm 124 and 4. The waters had overwhelmed us. They're the troopers. Them coming down having great wrath. The Lord is going to deliver us. Then the waters had overwhelmed us. The streams had gone over our soul. Then the proud waters had gone over our soul. Blessed be the Lord, Yahweh, by Shemel Shai, who have not given us as a prey to their teeth, their military might. Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowlers, the hunter of birds. The snare is broken and we are escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. See that? Okay, let's go to the point. See, we're at on time, not bad. Captive, hasten it to be loosed. All right. Book of Psalms, chapter fifty five, verse. Verse 23, but thou, O power, shall bring them down into the pit of destruction. Bloody and deceitful men shall not live out half their days, but I will trust in thee. Psalm 57 and 6, they have prepared a net for my steps. My soul is bowed down. They have digged a pit before me into the mist whereof they are fallen themselves. Salah. Psalm 69, 15, let not the water floods overflow me. They're military troopers. The onslaught, the Lord said, when they shall come in as a flood, he will lift up a standard against them. Neither let the deep swallow me up and let not the pit, that system, shut her mouth upon me. <whistles> Reproach have broken my heart and I am full of heaviness. I looked for some to take pity, but there was none. And for comforters, but I found none. Only in Yahweh Shemashai 
shall you find comfort in these days. Psalm 88 and 4, I am counted with them that go down into the pit. I'm as a man that hath no strength. Our strength and our song is Yahweh Bashim Shai. Whom doth he look? And who is his strength? Those are the questions uh, that were asked in Ecclesiasticus. All right. The fear of the Lord is a fruitful garden. It seeketh not, uh, it needeth not help. All right. Psalm 94 and 13, that thou mayest give him rest, the elect, from the days of adversity until the pit be digged for the wicked, their destruction. Because they're digging the pit for the world, the, that system, the internet of bodies, the internet of things, the NWO. But the Lord is digging a pit for them, which is their destruction. All right. Psalm 103 and 13, like as a father pitieth his children. So the Lord, Yahweh Vashim Shah, pity at them that fear him. The Lord is constantly looking at them that fear him to save them. Okay. Now this is uh, Psalm 143 and uh, 7. Hear me speedily, O Lord, Yahweh Vashim Shah, my spirit faileth. Hide not thy face from me, lest I be like unto them that go down into the pit. Because if you know not Yahweh Bashem Hashem, nor have hope in him, you're going to be like the rest of these people that think there is no other way but Esau's way. This new system is the future, is our only way of things returning to normal. We might as well just do it. Make things easier on ourselves and just do it. But that's not it. There is something beyond Esau Edom. There is light at the end of the tunnel. Okay? Okay. <laughs> This is a uh, hmm. hmm. See here, bear with me, brothers. Looking for a good one. Okay, I believe that's pretty much it. Oh, here we go. Isaiah twenty-four and seventeen. Fear and the pit, that system, and the snare, the trap. Are upon thee, O inhabitant of the earth. This man is gonna bring this 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 uh system upon all, whether he be small or great. Alright. Hmm. Mm. Isaiah 38 and 18. For the grave cannot praise thee, death cannot celebrate thee, they that go down into the pit cannot hope for thy truth. Man, you go down into the pit, you take part of Esau's system, there is no hope. You cannot hope in the truth. That y'all might be damned that believe not the truth. Alright? That y'all might be damned that believe not the truth. Okay, uh, what is that scripture I wanted to get? Oh yeah, uh, Sirach 27. Start from the top. Many have sinned for a small matter. Literally, micro, a micro matter many people are going to sin for. And he that seeketh for abundance, not through Yahweh Bashim Hashai, but through man, will turn his eyes away from what? Yahweh Bashim Hashai and his law. Our people, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you two-thirds, you will turn away. As a nail sticketh fast between the joining of stones, so doth sin stick close between buying and selling. You see, in order, in order for you to be connected to his system, they're going to drive into you as a nail sticking fast between the joining of stones. In order for you to join to Esau's system, they're going to stick in you, the M-A-R-K, the M-O-T-B, the R-F-I-D. All right. Unless the man holds himself diligently in the fear of the Lord. His house shall soon be overthrown. And I can, that word house or house can mean two things. Your house as in your actual house <clears throat> is going to be overthrown because they're going to send troops to bring you out. But also your house being your body. Once they have the RFID placed in you, 
your body is going to be hackable and it's going to be taken over, overthrown. So I'm going to play this clip. Shall we? It's why. He said they'd made a mistake and sent back a man who'd just been released. They fried two shifts to keep it quiet. You heard him say this. I don't even know that. I can't believe it. He's only a doctor. They would never tell him. No one is getting out. See, they're not going to let you go ever. Once you're in this man's system, you're done. Fire and worms is for you. Horrible is the end of the ungodly generation. But blessed be those that trust in Yahweh by Hashem Shai. So let's go to the blue letter. And I'm going to read these scriptures and close, close out. Was well, when you've been edified. No one's getting out. Shoot, I mean, uh, if you don't have any hopes, a wounded spirit, who can bear that? Right? Now, this is Deuteronomy 32 and 18. <clears throat> I'm going to read uh, both the NLT and the KJV. And uh, I'm just keep reading on down like that, Lord's willing. Now, this is Deuteronomy 32 and 18. Of the rock that begat thee, thou art unmindful, and hast forgotten Yahweh that formed thee. Because a lot of our people are going to forget the Lord that formed them. All right? And real quick, the main idol that they're going to lift up is that RFID. And we're going to have to remember what Jeremiah said in the letter of Jeremiah through Baruch. Okay? Jeremiah, or letter of Jeremiah, which is the the book of Baruch, uh, chapter 6. It says, Letter of Jeremiah 1 and 4. Now shall ye see in Babylon gods of silver and of gold and of wood, borne upon shoulders which cause the nations to fear. Beware, therefore, that ye in no wise be like to strangers, neither be ye, be ye and of them when ye see the multitude before them and behind them worshiping them but say in but say ye in your hearts O lord yahweh we must worship thee for mine angel is with you and i myself carry for your souls you see that you gotta say we must trust in thee O lord and the lord's angel is gonna be caring for your soul the angel of the lord's presence all right, care for them. Save them. Who is that? Yahweh Shai. He's our rock. It says of that. It says of the rock that begat thee, thou art unmindful. And has forgotten Yahweh by Shemel Shai that formed thee. NLT. You neglected the rock who had fathered you. You forgot the power who had given you birth. Verse 19, and when the Lord Yahweh Bashimashai saw it, he abhorred them because of the provoking of his sons and of his daughters. See that? So the Lord Yahweh Bashimashai saw this and drew back, provoked to anger by his own sons and daughters. Two thirds are going to provoke the Lord to anger, and the same is going to know it at the death by pain. Verse 20. And he said, I will hide my face from them. I will see what their end shall be. For they are a very froward generation. Children in whom is no faith. See, no faith. Verse 20. He said, I will abandon them. Then see what becomes of them. For they are twisted. They are a twisted generation. Children without, without integrity. <coughs> Two thirds. But yet in the same generation, the Lord said, you are a holy uh, chosen generation, a holy priesthood. Going into the elect, 
So in the same generation where the Lord says there's no faith, no integrity, he spoke unto a certain of that generation, the elect, saying that you're a chosen generation, a holy priesthood. All right. It says, verse 21, they have moved me to jealousy with that which is not God. They have provoked me to anger with their vanities. I will move them to jealousy with those which are not a people, which is that now in this time. Back then we were a people. But now, at this time, we were not a people. We were by, by words and proverbs. All right. And that's how uh, uh, the Lord is moving a lot of our people to jealousy. All right, because they're looking at us, oh, they're these bums, these nobodies. The, the ones that you think are not your people are your people. The ones you think that don't have it do have it. The ones that you think are so lowly and bummy, they're the ones that are actually rich. But it's all good. Call all y'all by Shema Shai for that. I will provoke them to anger with the foolish nation. NLT. They have roused my jealousy by worshiping things that are not God. They have provoked my anger with their useless idols. Now I will rouse their jealousy through people who are not even a people. I will provoke their anger through the foolish Gentiles. <clears throat> That's right. Yeah. It's Deuteronomy 32 and 22. For a fire is kindled in mine anger and shall burn unto the lowest Hell shall consume the earth with her increase and set on fire the foundations of the mountains. All right. Now with that, let's go down to the point. Let's go to 31. Here we go. Deuteronomy 32 and 31. For their rock is not as our rock. So these heathen, their power is not like our power. Our rock is an actual foundation of power, a God. A refuge, a fortress, a shield, a buckler. All right? For their rock is not as our rock, even our enemies themselves being judges. NLT. But the rock of our enemies is not like our rock, as even they recognize. See? And they know that, oh shit, the elect, they recognize that their God is a true power all right we don't trust in man we don't make flesh our arm we trust in yahweh by shai deuteronomy 32 and 32 for their vine is is of, of the vine of sodom and the fields of gomorrah their grapes are grapes of gall their clusters are bitter the heathen their vines grow from the vine of sodom from the vineyards of Gomorrah, their grapes are poison and their clusters are bitter. Everything about these heathen, everything about this people is bitterness and, and wickedness and envy. Since their wine is the <laughs> their wine is the poison of dragons. Yeah, this this nation made all nations to drink, but it was poison. And the cruel venom of ass, because this man is, is a deadly serpent. He moves all vibration. Deuteronomy 32. And it goes back to uh, uh, serpent-like prophets. They, they use sorcery. All right. To deceive people. And to swindle you. No one's getting out. You know. Let's play it. We're going to die here or in the next place. So let's get our heads back in our cells and start figuring this out. That's it. Spirit, man. No one's getting out. Only only by Yahweh Shai will we, will we get out, man. Here we go. Yeah, what's going on? It says, It is not, is not this laid up in store with me and sealed up among my treasures? 
The Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, says, Am I not storing up these things, sealing them away in my treasury? Deuteronomy 32 and 35. To me belongeth vengeance and recompense. Therefore, our enemies shall slide in due time. For the day of their calamity is at hand. And the things that shall come upon them make haste. NLT. I will take revenge. I will re I will pay them back. In due time their feet will slip. Their day of disaster will arrive. And their destiny will overtake them. <whistles> Verse 36. For the Lord Yahweh Bashimashai shall judge his people and repent himself for his servants when he seeth that their power is gone and there is none shut up or left. Now this is the point I want to get because if this man is not stopped, Esau, Edom, there is no flesh that will be saved. And I'm going to read all uh, the NLT versions on down to the end of the chapter. Lord's word, this has been edified. Deuteronomy 32 and, and uh, 36. NLT. Indeed, the Lord Yahweh Bashemashah will give justice to his people and he will change his mind about his servants. When he sees their strength is gone, and no one is left, slave or free. Because this man is going to cause all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark, right? But hey, the Lord is already going to see that their strength, our people's strength is gone. And no one is left slave or free. The Lord is going to slay, uh, save his elect so that they will not be slaves to Esau Edom's uh, uh, pit, his system. It says, then he will ask, where are their gods? The rocks they fled to for refuge. Yeah, you, everything that you trusted in other than the Lord. Where now are those gods who you ate the fat of their sacrifices and drank the wine of their offerings? Let those gods arise and help you. Let them provide you with shelter. Look now, I myself am he. There's no other God. But me, there is no other power but the Lord, Yahweh I am the one who kills and gives life. I am the one who wounds and heals. No one can be rescued from my powerful hand. Now, I raise my hand to heaven and declare as surely as I live. When I sharpen my flashing sword going into those missiles and in the hiding of his power, that laser. And begin to carry out justice. I will take revenge on my enemies and repay those who reject me, two thirds. I will make my arrows drunk with blood, the missiles, and my sword will devour flesh. <whistles> the blood of the slaughtered and the captives and the heads of the enemy leaders. Rejoice with him, you heavens. And let all Yahweh's angels worship him. Rejoice with his people, you nations. And let all the angels be strengthened in him. For he will avenge the blood of his servants. He will take revenge against his enemies. He will repay those who hate him. And cleanse the land for his people. The Lord is going to do all these things. For his name first and foremost and for his promise to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and to his land, and to their posterity, which is us, the children of Israel, the children of Jacob and Joseph. See? It reads on, So Moses came with Joshua, son of Nun, and recited all the words of this song to the people. So is the song. When Moses had finished reciting all these words to the people of Israel, he added, Take to heart your mind all the words of warning I have given you today. Pass them on as a command to your children so they will so they will obey every word of these instructions. These instructions are not empty words. They are your life. By obeying them, you will enjoy a long life in the land you will occupy when you cross the Jordan river and it's funny because there's a negro spiritual uh, uh, i see a band of angels crossing the river jordan coming forth to carry me home swing low oh sweet chariot coming forth to carry me home and it's funny over the over the river jordan 
So the Lord is going to take us back to our land as he promised, beginning with the hopeful elect. And as, as I read just right here, I'm going to read it again. These instructions are not empty words. They are your life. By obeying them, you enjoy a long life in the land you will occupy when you cross the river Jordan or the Jordan River. All right. So with that, giving all praises, glory and honor unto Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father in whom the world has regularly called Jehovah, but Yahweh and Yahweh Shai is the name of his only begotten son in whom the world has ignorantly called Jesus Christ, in whom we do worship. But I got one more scripture for you. Double honors unto my apostles, my elders, and my teachers at the Great Millstone that are ruling well and continue to do so. So I want to get uh, the second address. I don't know, was it second address or first address? Bear with me, brothers. Yeah, yeah. 12, yep, yep, 12 and uh, 44. Uh, no, no, it was 46. Second Edges 12 and 46. Be of good comfort, O Israel, and be not heavy, thou house of Jacob. For the highest have you in remembrance, and the mighty have not forgotten you in temptation. Mm. See? The Lord has not forgotten you in temptation. All right. Play this clip. Go on. The doctor told us what happened down on two. It's true, isn't it? They fried the whole bridge. It's worse than that. It's why. Alda! He said they'd made a mistake and sent back a man who'd just been released. They fried two ships to keep it quiet. You heard him say this. How even know that? I don't believe it. He's only a doctor. They would never tell him. No that. one is getting out. It's true. The rumors are true. The reports are true. Lord, who have believed our report? See, be of good comfort, O Israel. Be not heavy, thou house of Jacob. For the highest have you in remembrance, and the mighty have not forgotten you in temptation, man. He have not forgotten you. All right. How to deliver. How to deliver. Second Peter two and nine, the Lord Yahweh Bashim Shai knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptations, and to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. So with that, a once again giving all praises, glory, and honor as always unto Yahweh Bashim Shai. Double honors unto my apostles, my elders, and my teachers at Great Millstone that are ruling well, and continue to do so. The true leaders of Israel. Salutations, peace, and blessings unto you, brothers out there. Fighting this good fight of faith. Keep it up to your sisters doing that which is becoming of women. Shalom. And to those that are addicted unto this ministry, I say, Shalom. Lord's willing, you have been edified until the next time I say, Shalom. Shalom. On to the next one. Shalom.